Hey YouTubers, what's going on? Welcome back. It's your pal Eddie here and today I got a a video here. Uh, I got some new deliveries, some new pickups that came out throughout this week. But before I do that, I wanted to show off my blanket because Jim over at Jim's movie channel wanted to uh, for me to show the blanket. This was a gift from my sister this past Christmas. Very nice blanket. So, Jim, if you're watching, I hope uh, I hope you like it. Uh, I think she got it at Amazon. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's very neat. I, I I love it. So yeah, guys, uh, let's go to the to the table and show you my my latest pickups. All right, guys. So let's start off with the Crow. Yes, I had to pick this up. Uh, very very awesome movie. I love this movie. I watched it when it came out back in '94. Sad what happened during the set with, you know, the tragedy that happened with uh, Brandon Lee. But yeah, I am so happy that I finally got this in the collection. Uh, there's also a steelbook, but I think there was two steelbooks. There was one from a Walmart exclusive and then the other one was, you know, everywhere like Amazon, Target, whatever. And the slipcover. I went ahead and got the slipcover. You know, so I, I think I like the artwork better, but the steelbook looked very nice too. And it only comes with a 4K disc. There's no Blu-ray on it, which I don't like that. I wish they came with a Blu-ray disc. Uh, so yeah, the the Crow, awesome movie. Then I picked up the Ocean's Eleven steelbook. Uh, this one didn't come individually, you know, with slipcover edition. They had like a, I guess like a set. But I didn't like the packaging, so I went ahead and got the steelbook instead. It's got some uh, nice interior artwork. And let me remove the disc. And there's a, a better shot right there of the cast. Great movie. I love Ocean's Eleven. This is a, this is the best one though. This is the best one. Here's the back, and I didn't show you the the back of the J card. This is the back of the J card. And there's the spine. So Ocean's Eleven, and then we got Ocean's Twelve. Not as good as the first one, but it's okay. Glad to have it in the collection, regardless. There's the spine. And let's open this one. It's got interior artwork as well. Let's remove the disc, and there's the. A better view of the inside very nice I like it then we got oceans 13 this is probably my least favorite it wasn't as good but uh, you know I'm a completist what can I say so I had to pick up the you know the whole trilogy there's the back there's the spine there's the inside and there's a better view of the inside they all came with digital codes as well, but I went ahead and removed them. Yeah, so there you have uh, Ocean's 13. All right, so now we got some uh, some boutique labels. I did pick up Fletch, classic from Chevy Chase. This is from Kino Lorber. I got it straight from Kino Lorber. Uh, they pushed it back because I was supposed to have gotten this one like in April, I think. But it, they pushed it back, and, you know, there's nothing... You know, Kino, you know, their their packaging is, like, real simple. Like, they don't have discard or anything, but uh, they do release a lot of great stuff. And this is one of them. This is a classic Fletch. Next up, we got, of course, Fletch Lives, another one of Chevy Chase. This is a sequel. Here's the back. Fletch Lives. Yeah, I I think this might be the... I don't know if these ever had a Blu-ray release. I don't think they did. I don't know if I showed you the back of, of the of Fletch, the first one. I don't know if I did. Special features. But I'm so glad that I finally got these two in the collection. Alright, next up we got some... Uh, some Arrow. Some, one from Arrow Video. This is the, the Night Falls on Manhattan. This is a uh, one of their new re latest releases with uh, Andy Garcia. 
Then this is the alternate artwork. I went ahead and reversed it already. Got the disc, got a nice poster. Or oh, this is a booklet. I don't know if you all remember this movie. It's pretty good. It's been a while since I've seen it. And here comes the poster. And the custom artwork as well. All right, next up from MBD Rewind, we got Joysticks, an 80s comedy. Man, I haven't seen this in years. And this one did have a Blu-ray release before by, it was released by Scorpion releasing. But that's way out of print. So I'm so glad that um, MBD Rewind decided to re-release it because I didn't own it. I missed uh, the Scorpion releasing one. Here's the, the spine. And there's the alternate artwork. It's a great comedy. It comes with a poster. And on the reverse side, you got the other, the other artwork. All right, next up, another one from MVD Rewind. This is called, this is Sabotage. Now, this one is a blind buy. I don't know really much about this one. But uh, I read the synopsis, saw the trailer, and it looked pretty good. So uh, I'm curious to check in this out. It's got Tony Todd. So uh, find out. And there's the... I think you can reverse that, but, oh, maybe not. No. It's got a poster as well. There it is. Yeah, this one I, I really don't know much about. So uh, it looks good. I mean, hopefully it is. So I'm curious to checking out Sabotage. And then we got uh, one from... Uh, ACFA or AGFA, I don't know. This is a, one of Vinegar Syndrome's uh, partner labels. So it's kind of like a supernatural slasher, and I've been collecting, I've been trying to collect a lot of the 80s slashers, so this is another one. I heard some mixed things about it. I kind of saw it on YouTube, but it was, uh, the picture was very poor quality, so I couldn't really know, couldn't really see, you know, what was going on. And you got the, Two discs. Uh, it's got. I think this comes with a different, uh, a different cut of the movie. It's got like three different cuts. You got the theatrical cut, the original home video cut, and the Psycho Killer cut. So I think this is a. Uh, I think it. This was shot on video. And I think it's got a reversible artwork, as well. So you can reverse it. But I'm going to stick with this because I think I like this better. So yeah, Boarding House. And uh, last but not least, I got uh, one from Umbrella. And this is a uh, Tank Girl. Now, if you're not familiar with Umbrella, they're a boutique label from uh, Australia. But most of all their movies are uh, region free. Even though it says region B. Uh, it still plays on my it still played on my player because I, I tried it and it worked I mean, I don't know why it says that it's region B locked and it still works. It, it still works. So this is a uh, yeah, this is a uh, the, the slip cover and This is the the original artwork that I remember And it comes uh, with the same artwork, but it doesn't have that uh, that little the little logo, so I, that's why I kind of reversed it. There's a spine. Take a look at the back. Yeah, so even though it says Region B, it's still it's still Region Free, guys. So it's still I got this at uh, Orbit DVD. You can uh, you can get a lot of those import you know boutique labels from England and Australia or whatever Germany. Orbit DVD. <clears throat> you can get them through there, you can get them through Diabolic DVD, or you can get them through Grindhouse Video. And uh, that is it, guys. That's uh, Those were my 
my pickups for the week. So I'm gonna be looking forward to checking all these out whenever I get a chance. I'm still trying to catch up on some of the stuff that I haven't seen yet or or you know. <clears throat> so yeah, let me know in the in the comment section down below if you guys picked up anything up and what do you think of these uh these are new releases. Uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And again, until next time, see ya.